I've lived in this town most of my life, and this space has always been derelict on the waterfront, and it seems as though the town, especially with the new hotel, has, is really building up and becoming very vibrant, especially the downtown area around this space, and this is one space that is left in the middle as the old, what used to be the waterfront of Bath that, that I knew growing up. And, and it has a lot of potential to become an excellent space for the community. The purpose of the Freight Shed Alliance is to rehabilitate an historic industrial structure on the waterfront in Bath, Maine. This rehabilitation was originally the idea of local architects Fiebke and Stephen Theodore. The grittiness of this structure speaks to the mercantile working character of the downtown and its history. But if we didn't engage with this, this building soon, at a certain point it is beyond repair. And we're like teetering on that edge. So we really need to get major work done now. And we're not doing it with a major capital campaign. We're doing it with a lot of people rolling up their sleeves, doing what they can to contribute. On June 18th, volunteers gathered to clear out the freight shed and prepare it for the summer programs of Maine's first ship, a local organization which is working with students and community members to build a replica of the Virginia, the first ship built by colonists in the New World. Food for the volunteers was provided by local farmers market vendors. On July 3rd, a crowd gathered for the laying of Virginia's keel. The summer program was underway. It's a nice homey place. It's very barn-like and when we get done with the project uh, this year, all of these doors in the back will open up to the river and all the doors in the front will open up to the street and it'll be the freight shed that it was 80 years ago. The Freight Shed Alliance envisions the freight shed becoming a public gathering place supported by the whole community that will encourage layered activities emphasizing local food production, education, and the environment. It is already serving as a home to Maine's first ship and has also been proposed as a location for the farmer's market in the winter. We uh, sell our coffee at uh, four different farmer's markets and the Bath Market is by far the most loyal clientele. They have a year-round clientele that is extremely loyal to the market. They come rain or shine, so to have it there I think would just be a, a great place for it to be for all of us and, and the community as well. I've gotten really much closer to the farmers market vendors and dreaming about what this building can be. And we never thought it would be for boat building and kids, but that was perfectly appropriate for the waterfront. And it works beautifully in terms of layering programs. So if we can do winter market here, and then the summer we can have uh, students in here, then we can think of a viable future for this building. The layering of different programs has already helped bring support from different segments of the community. We had uh, local folks that gave us an oak tree that they took down in their yard, and all the frames that are in this boat came from their yard. John Morris, who is a sawyer down in Phippsburg, donated a lot of his services. BIW came, came down and gave us uh, all of the safety gear that we needed. A lot of second shift people came down and worked in the morning with us. So that was kind of nice. It's sort of an unorthodox way of doing things and we don't actually know if it's going to work. But in the meantime, like we are connecting with people in a wonderful way that already, even if if this didn't go further, that's already had great meaning um, for the people involved. For me, having grown up here and seeing what the downtown was 20, 25 years ago, and now seeing what it is, is um, it's really promising. And I think this is the next step forward. <laughs>